Hello and welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to be going over how to wire up the Federal Signal Rumbler system. The model I have is an older model, so it requires this box on top here uh, to be the timer. So this is a 75, 750,000-T2 model timer. Let me take a look at it here. And this, act, this is what actually activates the rumbler, and it has a timer that you can choose between 8 and I believe 45 seconds, and that will allow the rumbler to stay on for that amount of time before it automatically shuts off. So for this particular setup, the wires coming out of this timer will be this green and red one here, which when I bought it, these were already spliced together into a wire that says ignition. So this wire will be hooked up to positive power. This white wire coming off of it is your trigger wire for your system. So whatever button you want to use, go ahead and hook that up to that, and that will be connected to the negative terminal of your battery. That took me a little bit um, to figure out, and I could not figure out why it wasn't working, and then I realized it needed to be hooked up to the negative terminal. So the white wire connects to your button, which then connects to the negative terminal of your battery. Next, you're going to have a couple black wires here, along with this purple wire, and then you're going to take the black wire from the back of your unit, from, from, the, from the rumbler unit here. And in this case, again, they've all been spliced together into one thick wire, and this will be connected to the negative terminal on your battery. And then you'll also have this brown wire here, as well as it's like an old grandma style wire, along with the black grandma style wire. And then those we'll get to in just a second. So those will be hooked up to your, sp to your speaker. So keeping that in mind, we're gonna go to So those come out to here. So we have the, our brown wire. We'll start with that one first. You're going to hook that up to, this is the leads to the rumbler speakers. So whatever speakers you're going to be using, in this case, I have them over here. So those big black speakers are hooked up from this system here. So they're hooked together like this. And then this wire runs all the way through, back down to these wires here. So th those are these black ones. And they it's one wire per. So you have one and one. And then the black or ammo style wire that you saw is this, it's down here. So it's already kind of out of this out of this tubing. And that this one goes directly to your speaker wires or whatever wires that you're going to have coming out of your system. In this case, I still have it hooked up to the Omega 90. So as you can see here, these blue wires that are coming out of our Omega 90 are then hooked into our black wires right here. And they, the speaker, the actual 100 watt speaker is on here as well. That's why there's three wires. So you have one wire each that are running your speaker leads and then your grandma style wire coming out of the back of the rumbler and then your wires that lead directly to the back of the unit. Now, let's say you're doing like a different style, like, like a Touchmaster, for example. So in this case, you could do the you could do the same thing. So you have your your common and your hundred watt. I'm assuming you're using a hundred watt speaker. You can either hook those grandma style wires, the ones that are coming out here. You can either hook these directly to the back of this unit with your speaker leads that are already running to your speaker, or you can do what I did, and I gave myself a little bit of lead. So because the, the holes here were a little too small for two wires to fit into, I ran these out first and then connected them together here. I know this is a lot to follow, but once you actually have it in your hand, it's, it makes a little bit more sense. And if you can kind of picture what connections you need to make, it does, um, it does make sense here. So, in this case, I got lucky that somebody else had already wired these together, but just remember the red and green go to your are positive, so you can hook those together, connect it to positive. Your brown grandma wire will run directly to your speaker, your, uh, your rumbler speaker to be exact, your rumbler speaker leads, and then the black wire here runs to 
your 100 watt speaker or wherever you want to hook that in and connect that in line with your 100 watt speaker and then again your your black wire coming out of the back of the unit here will run with these th these three that come out of your timer so black black and purple coming out of your timer again all hooked together and running to negative power so that's the basics of how to get that all together and when if you'll know you've got it you've got it correct when you push you'll hear that click that means it has now been activated and then you can go ahead and push whatever function you want and that'll stay on in this case i have it for 45 seconds you can either manually turn it off with your button or you can wait until the 45 seconds is up push it again and it is now off so there you have it that is a quick run through of the wiring for the federal signal rumbler unit i hope you found that helpful and if you have any questions about it just go ahead and feel free to leave a comment in the comment section and i will get back to you as soon as i can thank you again for watching and have a great rest of your day